All right, so here's some breaking news I'm finding. Walking Dead studio Telltale lays off most of its staff. Uh, so they just had a new game come out. I thought they were doing really good. I mean, these uh, these games don't seem that complicated to make. Now, I don't pretend to be a game developer, so I don't know. I just know that they have been using the same engine forever. <laughs> I think they just updated it recently. And, you know, it's just kind of been the same old thing. Now, most of them have been pretty good. I've enjoyed the Walking Dead ones. Uh, I had... That's really it. The Game of Thrones one, I didn't really care for. Uh, the Batman one was okay, but it didn't really grab me at all. But the Walking Dead ones have been pretty solid. Now, I haven't played the new one, but I played seasons one and two and enjoyed them quite a bit. I was planning on waiting for the new season to kind of finish, and then I was thinking about going and playing. That's how I usually like to play these kind of games, all in one shot. It kind of makes them more fun to just play them in like a marathon. But anyway, let's find out what's going on here. So, Telltale Games, the studio behind titles such as The Walking Dead and The Wolf Among Us, has laid off most of its staff in what it's calling a majority studio closure. The publisher told the outlet in a statement that a majority of the company's employees were dismissed earlier this morning with a small group of 25 employees staying on to fulfill the company's obligation to the board and partners. To clear up the telltale confusion, it's not closing down, but it is laying off 20, 225 of 250 people. That's about as close to a closure as you can get without actually ending the company. That seems like the source of the confusion. Now, I don't. there's not really much confusion there. It sounds to me like you're closing a... Uh, when you say that 25 employees are staying on to fulfill the company's obligations to its board and partners, that means 25 people are staying on to pretty much finish up projects, promotions, marketings, DLC, stuff like that. And then when that's done, you're going to close. That's really what that is. That's, I know they're saying they're not closing, but you know, if they say that, that could impact, that could impact the sales of the final season of The Walking Dead. So, you know, they could say, whoa, should I buy this? What if they don't finish it? So they have to, they have to curb that, that news, right? That's not good news, right? And it can impact sales of the product they're trying to still put out. It's been an incredibly difficult year for Telltale as we worked to set the company on a new course. CEO Pete Howley said in a statement, unfortunately, we ran, we ran out of time trying to get there. We released some of our best content this year and received tremendous amount of positive feedback, but ultimately that did not translate to sales. With a heavy heart, we watch our friends leave today to spread our brand of storytelling across the games industry. That's a goodbye. That 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 is they are closing. <laughs> so they are they're closing. That's crazy. The developer released the first episode of The Walking Dead, the final season last month. The second episode is scheduled to land next week, the 3rd of November, the 4th and final in December. And then that'll be it. That'll be the final of the whole, if you've enjoyed these tall tale games, that's it. They're done. Last November, Telltale laid off 90 employees, a quarter of its workforce. Now, just 25 remain. The Verge reporting that there was no severance for the laid off staff and members. That sucks. Earlier this year, Tall Tale announced a game based on the hit Netflix series Stranger Things and a sequel to The Wolf Among Us, but those are effectively canceled, U.S. Gamer reports. Tall Tale said it will release more information on the games in the coming weeks. And then they updated it. So, I think this goes to show that making games, for one, is not cheap. You know, like, even a game like this, when they use the same engine for years, costs a lot of money to make. It costs a lot of money to make video games today. Now, I know people say it's bigger than Hollywood, right? But when you make these big AAA games, even though this Walking Dead game isn't really a big AAA game, but I'm just using it as an example. When you have games that cost millions of dollars to make, right, and they don't bring in more than they make, it's not profitable. The gaming industry, and that's why they're trying to figure things out, like developing 
and taking chances on new and original AAA games is a risk, and it has been a risk for a long time. And if you can't even make profit on a cheap-to-make game, and like I said, I, I'm taking a guess that it's cheap compared to most games, um, that, that's, a, that's an issue. The gaming industry, I think that's why you haven't seen them go full, full-on, you know, agenda is because, well, you know, they're kind of just getting by. Now, the big money is in the smaller games, the Hollow Knights, the Dead Cells, like the the cheaper indie games. If you can get a Minecraft to blow up, obviously that's where the money is. But, you know, taking a chance on a AAA game that costs millions of dollars with no, you know, well, that's not a sequel or, you know, a licensed game on Batman or Spider-Man. It's it's a risk. And uh, I think that's, you know, and that's part of the reason why you see companies like Microsoft hesitant to make single-player games, right? Online games, you can supplement the income through loot boxes and, you know, selling some DLC, like some pretty things for your guns and skins. Like you can supplement the income through that somehow. But single player games, it's harder to do that with. And, you know, you really got to nail it home, have a name behind you. Like Cyberpunk, that game coming out or whatever. The one everyone's really excited about, the Steampunk game. The guys who made The Witcher were behind it. Uh, that game has a following. The studio has a following. It let's them kind of take a little bit of risk because they built their name, right? So there's less risk, but there is still risk. Like not everybody knows they made Witcher, you know, so they have to sell it. Video games are a risky business. Anyway, let me know what you think about Telltale going down. It's a sad thing. I hate seeing another studio go, especially single player content, which is getting thinner and thinner. Uh, hit me with a like, subscribe, check out my Patreon. If you're enjoying the content, also, consider following me over on Twitch, Yellow Flash Comics. Uh, hit that notification bell, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.